Okay, in this video we are going to build on what we did last week where we used the pivot tables to get and accumulate the variables that we were going to use in our regression model. So we're starting off with distance per person, the age of that person, here's the gender categorical variable that we transformed into a female dummy variable in the last class. Today we're going to do two different operations. The first, we are going to do a logarithmic transformation of the dependent variable, and we're also going to create a polynomial age variable. So to start with doing the logarithm of, of d distance, it's relatively simple. Let's call it, le uh, let's call our variable logarithm of distance, and then we have to make an equal sign if we then type in ln, so it's ln, or the natural logarithm, and choose the distance, close the bracket, we get the uh, logarithm of distance for each individual person. Double click on that, it gets copied to the rest of the cells, and Bob's your uncle, you now have the logarithm of distance for each of the individuals in our data set. The second thing we'd like to do is um, be able to incorporate a polynomial structure for age. As you may have noticed, as we talked about in class, the relationship between age and total trip distance per person isn't exactly linear. It seems to be peaked lowish, lower uh, when people are younger. As they get older, they travel more. And then at a certain point, there's a peak around middle age, and people begin to travel less. So in order to be able to capture that kind of shape, we would want to use, or we can use, a polynomial structure. And the way that we do that is by creating a polynomial. In this case, we're going to use it with h, because that's the example that seems to fit best. So we're going to create a variable called h squared. And in order to get h squared, we can do it in one of two ways. We can either say age times age, that will give us h squared, and then we can copy this out. Or we can do it another way, h squared, let's call this one 2, and in that case we just take age and we raise it to the power by using the little hat of 2, and as you can see it uh, it was, we have the same results as we do as if we did age times age. So hopefully that will help in showing you how to transform variables, and maybe you'll be able to do that in your assignment. 